Number one topic I want to get into, which is really distressing news for me, especially considering that I'm a big fan of the guy and have known him from afar, tangentially through different people um, in the scene and whatnot, is this story courtesy of an account called Kanye Defence Team that says as follows. Longtime Ye collaborator, Philophis London and producer has apparently been missing since July and people are concerned. Spread the word. I know he follows this page, so if you see this, just give me a like to let us know you're good at Theophilus London. So as I've read there, Theophilus London, a longtime collaborator with Ye and all manner of people in the scene and somebody who's been at the forefront of kind of pushing that alternative... Um, you know, whatever, what, how would you call it even? That just the, the image of, alone of him being like a tall, black, skinny dude who kind of sung these amazing synth pop indie dance type records back in the day was really, really forward thinking. Probably somebody that probably deserves to have a lot more success than they did have, considering, you know, the influence that he had on, you know, culture and art, on music, on fashion. I still remember how obsessed Karl Lagerfeld was, him, was with him when he was, um, you know, at the head of Chanel and whatnot, and just generally being a, a kind of cultural touch point for loads of really cool things you think of the lovers hats back in the day you think of you know his ability to essentially single-handedly drive up the stock of or drive up demand for the jordan 5 black metallics um just loads of different things that he's done in culture over over the time and um, you kind of feel like he didn't really get the flowers that he deserved when he was you know around and popping but regardless this is really concerning news because i have from what i've known of the guy from afar i do know that he has a uh, tendency to go dark and to go off grid and most of the times he does that when he comes back he pops up again with a new style with a new aesthetic with a new sound with a new outlook on life maybe with a new partner but he's always kind of doing that kind of going off grid for a while and then coming back again and it's sort of like he's got kind of way of kind of keeping himself on the front foot and reinvent himself and whatnot but i guess the issue with this particular post as i've been reading around on twitter is that i think he always checks in with a couple of people in his life maybe it's his family maybe it's his friends but there's always people he kind of checks in on and they kind of know that he's okay and in this case with it being the holidays and you know you know and then over christmas and whatnot the fact that he hasn't checked in with anybody has been really concerning so they didn't hear from him from july which is maybe okay in some way shape or form because they know him as a person can go dark and go off grid but for him to not say anything over the holidays has been really really out of the blue and people are concerned naturally um so hopefully this is just a case of him being in some silent retreat somewhere um getting his mind right or whatever it may be or traveling in some far-flung place where he's basically you know removed himself from social media and having a phone or whatnot but whatever the case may be hopefully someone out there does see this post and is able to kind of you know get in touch with him and let him know that his family and friends are out there looking for him because the last thing we want to know is somebody as important to culture as the office london is to have anything bad happening towards the end of the year that's just be a horrible way to kind of end the year especially after all the madness has been going on um throughout it but i'm hoping for the best i'm really i'm hoping and praying for the best and everything's okay 